I was told that there are so many questions left unanswered. And so we are extending this broadcast of Jimmy Lecauco Live to answer this question as much as we can. Okay, so let's begin. And I hope you're still there. <laughs> Where are the questions? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, there are so many questions. Okay, there's one question. Are spirit guides true? Yes. <laughs> the simple answer is yes. They are true. All of us have at least one spirit guide. Some have more than one spirit guide, depending on their duties or responsibility in this lifetime. I have been told I have seven. And after so many years, another one came in. And so I have eight. But several people, three persons, one from the Philippines, another from England, another from the United States, who do not know each other, told me I had seven spirit guides. And so how come that they are, they are the same number of spirit guides they see in me? So I think they're, they're real, but spirit guides are not the same as guardian angels. Uh, guardian angels are, uh, it's a cr Christian concept. We also, I believe also in that, no? that we have guardian angels, but spirit guide is something else. Uh, they, they, they are spirits who were with us before in previous lives and decided to become our spirit guides in this, in this lifetime. So these are different from guardian angels. What are orbs in photos? They're not, they do not appear so much anymore, no? In the, world, in the analog, in the, and there are, we don't know what they are, but there are three kinds that I have examined about orbs. These are globul globular <laughs> um, lights that appear in pictures. And there are three types. One are their spirits of the dead, no? And then another, they're elementals. But the third I have identified are extraterrestrials. Why they appear, we don't know. And, uh, and there are two books written about them. And I have written several articles on orbs. And I have seen many of these in pictures. There are some places where there are so many orbs, and there are places where there's none. Sometimes in the same place, at certain times there are orbs, and sometimes when you take the picture again, there is completely clear that there's no orbs. Why they appear sometimes? It, because probably the person uh, who's there uh, attracted to them, or they attract this type of entities to them. Sometimes the place, like oh, I was in the Dead, I was in the Dead Sea, in in in, in the Middle East, in the Dead Sea. Where's the Dead Sea? Somewhere in Israel, I don't know, it's somewhere there. And um, I took a picture uh, of the Dead Sea, the shore, and they were full of orbs there, uh, the Dead Sea. So there are places where there's some other orbs, there are places where there's none. To Christian Joy Beroy asking, sir, what entities you need to be careful when you are as an old? What entities do you have to be careful about when you're in the astral plane? You will feel them. If there are negative spirits in the astral plane, you will feel them and you can avoid them. Uh, but you can, when, when you go into the astral, if you, if you do it deliberately, you should ask for guidance before you do it. Most of our astral projections are spontaneous and therefore you can go into different levels of the astral plane and you don't have any time to prepare for them. So you can just uh, pray or ask your spirit guide to guide you in the astral plane. Kevin Patsalem, you. Sir Jimmy, good afternoon. How can we tell if the ghost visiting us really our loved ones and not a familiar spirit? Okay, that's a good question. Ask questions that only you and the <laughs> family member knows, you know, and ask when he or she died, then you will know. See, if uh, that's the spirit is somebody that you really know or not. Ask questions that only you and the spirit know. And uh, you are right, there are some pretenders in this field also. So you have to be careful, okay? Next question from Kelly 
Pantilo. Hi, Sir Jamie. How will you organize your spirit guide? How will you contact them? Most spirit guides do not interfere with what happens to us. They're there, but they're quiet. Even I, I have been trying to communicate with them. I could not. Um, I have been told that the one way is for you to really meditate, to take some time before they manifest to, to, to physically to you or mentally. Most of the time they're just there. You can sometimes feel their presence, but many times you don't, but they are there. And to communicate, you concentrate, you meditate, and really put your effort in communicating them. I've tried it, but I'm not very diligent. I'm not very religious in doing so. And therefore, I have not really been able to communicate, or they have not been able to communicate to me verbally. But mentally, yes. I know that they are there, especially when, when, when I am asked questions and I don't know the answer. All of a sudden, I, I, I get the answer. And it's coming from them. Diego Villanueva the second. Sir Jimmy, does a spiritual healer have a spirit guide? Oh yes. All spiritual healers have a spirit guide. They call it spirit protectors or spirit control, especially through psychic surgeons or faith healers. They always call on their they cannot heal or they cannot do psychic surgery without the assistance of the spirit guide or the spirit control so with the arrigo of brazil as a, as a german doctor who, who who is a spirit guide tony power says jesus christ spirit guide or no 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 not 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 jesus christ uh, it's a saint no um, the others have have also spirit guides of different they call on this spirit guide when they do healing. Arjan Dale, good afternoon, sir. Why do I have, I keep having deja vu. I have them every day. Okay, deja vu means already seen. You go to a place or you're in a situation for the first time and you seem to remember having seen this scene before. That's called deja vu or already seen. That's from two. Deja vu is from two French word, which means already seen. Why does it happen? Well, there are several reasons why deja vu happens. First, it is possible you have been in that place before and you visit in a previous life and you visit the same place, you will remember it. That's deja vu. Or it is possible that you dream of a situation where you are talking to somebody and then you dreamt about it and you forgot the dream. But then you are in the situation of your dream and you remember, I have seen this before because you dreamt it. Another reason is, is, is clairvoyant uh, or precognition, something that you know will happen and it is in your subconscious mind. So when that thing happens, you seem to recognize that happened before because you clairvoyantly saw it. So these are the three reasons why deja vu happens. First, could be a past life uh, memory. And uh, number two, it's a clairvoyant memory. Uh, number three, it would be something that you uh, anticipated. Okay, Christine Joy. Oh, no, we'll ask Christine. Paano po minimize ang vibration during OBE? Okay. We cannot control the OBE uh, unless you're adept at it. And I wouldn't advise people to experiment on it. But usually, if it happens to you spontaneously, you're practically safe. But when you try to do this on your own and try to force yourself to go into astral, you might go into the lower astral plane, and that can be dangerous. So don't go into experimentation with the astral world unless you have a guide or somebody who knows what he's doing to teach you. I teach astral projection in my advanced ESP class, but I don't hold ESP class anymore. We cannot hold classes anymore. So that's a five day, five evening class where I teach many things like super consciousness, uh, automatic writing, uh, many others. No, also contacting a spirit guide. They're all in my in my advanced ESP, which I don't conduct anymore. But maybe one of these days, maybe I can conduct it through Zoom. I don't know. <laughs> yes, Nazino, Sir Jimmy, what? 
Lahat ba nagpapakita sa picture na kapamilya ay sumusundo? No. Not necessarily the, the, people, the, the people you see in pictures, they sumusundo. No. Sometimes they just there to greet you. Sometimes they're just there to convey a message. Not necessarily sinusundo. Rogelio Pagdanganan, Clara, Junior Spirit Guide can be really relate to a guardian angel. Mm, different. Guardian angel says that it's different from spirit guide. Guardian angels are spirits. They've never been human. Spirit guides can have been human before, whom you were with in a past life. So they're different. Kevin Patrick Salem, you wait. If spiritual healers have spirit guide, how do we know if their spirit guide is a good spirit? Like if you get healed, do the spirits ask anything in return? No, they don't. Walang bayad yan. Walang pera sa spiritu eh. And most of the real healers do not charge money. And this, there's an organization, the Union of Spirits of the the Filipinas, who forbid their members, their healers, to ask money. See? They can receive donation, but not to ask money. So, the, by the spirits, you shall know them. How will you know the spirit is good? Do they bring you closer to God? Make you a better person? Or do they make you more of a devil? <laughs> then, if it, if it, if this if the fruit is not, then it's a bad spirit. Okay. Walt de Guzman Flores, is science and technology catching up with the ghost phenomena? How reliable are those gadgets used by ghost hunters? <laughs> I've never used those uh, hunter, uh, those uh, devices like uh, monitors, uh, magnetic monitors, no electromagnetic field radiation. There seems to be some basis for it. I wouldn't completely dismiss it, but I don't need it because you can actually sense whether the spirit clairvoyantly. And I have never used any gadget, and I have been quite accurate. In, in sensing, not really seeing, sensing this presence of spirits. You can develop your senses to detect spirits. Chiki Francisco, would my deceased daughter be my spirit guide? I can feel her. Yes, it's possible. It's possible that uh, depending on whether you have been together in many lifetimes, she can be your spirit guide. Sandra Lobigas. Hello, sir. Is it normal for me to foresee death of a relative via dreams? I've been experiencing it since I was a kid. I cannot see ghosts, but I can sense it whenever there is an entity in a room. Then that means you're clairvoyant. You have an open third eye, maybe not, not too open, but most of us have the ability to sense spirits. No? And uh, yes, uh, they, can, they can be long relative or relatives before or it could be somebody you have been together many lifetimes okay leo angelo saline or saline or salinel why do paranormal investigators on tv wear black i don't know is that necessary to make contact by the way in 1990s i remember frank regis and his this jinky what were they i don't know i have no contact with these people anymore uh, it's been a long long time since i last saw them and uh, I think Jink has uh, uh, taken a master's degree or even a PhD in psychology. And I think she's do, still doing, but I don't know how to get in touch with her or where she is. Yam Ronquillo, do you have any communication with Miss Frances Gloria after she passed away? Oh, in a way, yes and no. Sometimes I dreamt of her and sometimes I could feel her presence and Sometimes she manifests also to her son, no. but there is no outward thing. She's not earthbound. Okay. Diego Villanueva, the second. Sir Jimmy, do you know Felix Fojas? Yes. I think Felix is now coming back to the Philippines. He migrated to the U.S. a long time ago, and I have been seeing his post on, on, the, on the internet, on the Facebook, and there was a, about a month ago. I think he mentioned that he's coming back to the Philippines. Yes, I know him. We used to, I used to write for his uh, news, newsletter on psychic phenomena. He used to publish that. It's a weekly, uh, it's a weekly mag newsletter, not a magazine, uh, where he investigates these things. Yes, it would be interesting to welcome him back. 
question how can one differentiate ghosts from astral bodies that's a very good question um ghosts have a different vibration from an astral body and uh, i think it's possible for you to distinguish between the two if you have seen both no? there's a difference in vibration and your feeling about them maybe you can even ask them <laughs> are you a ghost or are you, are you in the astral field only but it's, most of the time it's really ghosts that appear very seldom an astral body will appear to you Ness Nasino, Sir Jimmy, is after projection dangerous? Can you physically die while after projecting? After projection is a natural process. It is not dangerous normally. It becomes dangerous only if you go into astral, in the lower astral plane, but that seldom happens. And also if you try to get out of your body in a place where there are negative spirits, then that could be dangerous. But I would say overall, it's uh, not dangerous, it's a natural process. And when it happens to you, when you wake up or become conscious when you are in the astral field and you see your body lying down on your bed, don't panic, you're not dead. You can never die <laughs> while going out of your body because you're connected uh, to your physical body through a silver cord, an astral cord, which can extend up to the moon or any other planet. And it will not be broken, cannot be broken unless stuff you die. You see, but it can be broken anytime. You can get run over by somebody crazy, you know, and uh, I have an accident or think like I hope it don't happen. But uh, the astral cord cannot be broken. You, know, you can snipe, you cannot snip it or cut it by, by the scissors or by knife. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jenny, has into yes, my part two. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, other questions. Tell me if you have any suggestion of topics that you would like to discuss. See, Sen Mendel said it's difficult to find your books, especially in natural history. Oh, yes. You know, I've been having a problem with this, uh, but you can order from us. What we've done is we try to get as many as we can from the different, not only from natural, but other sources, because they're really very rare now. Are there any platforms or stores we can get it nowadays? We have from our office, but we have very limited copies, so, so don't get angry if we can't supply all of them. I've just uh, realized how much my books are, are in demand. And uh, unfortunately, my publisher is no longer reprinting my books. So if you get them, hold on to them. Don't lend them my books. They will not be returned anymore. Okay. Siteli Zenitram. Ang hirap mga pangalan ninyo. Hi, Sir Jimmy. Or hi, may always. I always have this situation when I wake up in the middle of the night on the same specific time. Most of the time it's associated with an event that I need to see or about to happen. Is that spirit related or something else in the universe? It could be spirit related, but you know, we have our we have our body clock. We call this circadian rhythm. And we have we get used to this kind of body clock, so at some particular time we wake up. So this not necessarily mean it has something to do with the spirit or that. It could be something only with the our natural circadian rhythm. Leo Angelo Salinel, oh yeah, she already asked question before. Are you conducting online versions of your classes like basic ESP, intuition, soulmates, coming? Oh, yes, we have. In fact, we have one on March, so Soul Image Karma and Reincarnation. March 20, uh, from 2 to 5 p.m., March 20. And we're still open uh, to enroll. And then on March 27, we have self-healing through visualization. I don't have yet the ESP because it takes, um, for example, telepathy. You, you need a partner to do telepathy with or uh, psychic diagnosis, you know. So I have not yet done it, but Solmes come and recognition of the most one of the most popular seminars I have. Uh, this going to be the third time we're going to have Zoom on March 20, 2021, from 2 to 5 p.m. You can just call 0998-988-6292 for instruction how to enroll. You still have time. Okay. Thank you for your interest in my seminars. Don't miss it. 
Astral projection said, uh, 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 Carl, astral projection is triggered by WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Interesting question. Astral projection is a natural process. And during the evening, our astral body naturally detaches from our physical body. Nothing really triggers it. It's just that our astral body sometimes detaches from us in order to give our body complete rest. And sometimes our astral body goes out in order to learn more about the spirit world. There are several reasons why our astral body goes out. We have to learn something uh, in the astral world, sometimes to heal people. Because before us, uh, sickness appears on the physical plane, it has already appeared on, on the astral plane or spiritual plane. So there are many reasons why our astral body goes out. And the most common is to give our body a rest. Stella Sorino, good afternoon, Sir Jim. Looking forward this March 20. Thank you. I hope that you do enroll now. We don't know how how long I can keep this up or when the next seminar will be. So take advantage of what we have now. R. Lenny or Len Garcia. I have a copy of most of your books. Thank you. With dedication and autograph when I attended your seminars. Good to see your page, sir. Thank you, Kaylen. MJ Duldulau. Hi, Sergi. May I have been following your column in Inquirer. Thank you. Will you be releasing any books anytime soon? Well, the latest I have is the e-book. Uh, e-book, yes. It's uh, how to an e-book. Digital. Mm -hmm. How to develop ESP. It's available only uh, from Amazon.com or Kindle Books. Kindle ebooks in the US for $8. You can order it and for only $8, and it will be yours in a few seconds. You can have the book transmitted to your laptop or what they call it, tablet or even your phone. Melanie Villalon Domingo, sir, will you be publishing your books again? And if that's possible, will you be selling them online? Well, the one that's online is uh, how to develop ESP a step-by-step -step guide to open your third eye. That's my latest book, which is available at Kindle Bee Books and Amazon.com for $8. Um, my publisher, I, I, I think, is, is having some problems with the, the publishing business and it's not printing my books anymore. I have several manuscripts. It will take a little time for me to finish them. 90% finished. One on the psychic powers of Jesus Christ, another on um, his mystical journey in the Philippines, and another on, well, probably dreams, and probably one more about my trans, trances, what happens to my, to happen when I go into trance. Walt de Guzman Flores, there are notable instances when Eureka moments are achieved during sleep. Are these examples of astral? Body seeking knowledge and spirit world, not necessarily. See, I was of course so fast it can travel to some without having a muscle body be part of it. And there are many inventions, or there are not really many, but there are quite a number of inventions, scientific inventions, that have been discovered through dreams, like the chemical formula for benzene was through dreams. The, the sewing machine uh, needle was invented through dreams by a uh, uh, what's his name? Mr. Howe, H-O-W-E. Jennifer Aquino, hi, sir. Would there be anyone in the world who can sense earthquake without knowing where it would hit? Oh, there are. In, in the 1970s, there was a um, registry that was uh, put up by several researchers, uh, an earthquake registry. And it's very interesting. Uh, those who are able to predict an earthquake will register their prediction in that register. It's in based in New York, I think, uh, but it no longer exists. And from from the data that I remember uh, that they released, there are many people who are able to predict uh, an earthquake before it happens. You know? So it is possible. Per Earthquake Register Bureau. Kevin Patrick Salem, you thank you so much. Learn much. 
this afternoon. I hope to learn about that thing on our next live lectures. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's one interesting. We we investigated that thing and thing in San Pablo some time ago when we had the uh, yeah, we had uh, televised it. There was a TV program uh, directed by Maria Montalibano, and uh, it was an interesting uh, investigation of one thing and thing. Okay, tell this and the Trump, Sir Jimmy, is it natural to be afraid of watching true to life paranormal movies in spite of living a life where I can see and talk to spirits? I don't know if it's just me. I'm a huge fan of your work. More power and stay safe, Lage. Question, yeah, is it natural for you to have this? Uh, what's that again? Can you in spite, is it, is it natural to be afraid of watching true to life? Well, well it is natural. Uh, to be afraid because we don't know what it is. The reason for our fear is ignorance. The reason for our fear is we don't know what it is. What is the antidote for ignorance? Knowledge. So if you know why these things happen, if you know the mechanics, the rationale uh, for this happening, you will not be afraid. Hi, Sir Jamie says Mars. Our whole family have been following you in your inquiry column. Thank you so much and your radio show. I don't have a radio show anymore. Uh, looking forward to more of your online channels. Villarreal family, thank you so much, the Villarreal family. I have no more time. Tell us anytime, okay, I've always heard. I thought, I've always felt earthquake before it happens, or even if it's a week one. To check it's just me, I would go check Fibot. Lo and behold, Meronga. Wow, Tali, you have something to contribute to mankind. No? So please tell Feebox when you feel that again. You will be doing a great service to humanity and to Filipinos. Very good to, to know you. Christine Joy Beroy, Ibapu Bang Spirit Guides, some masters, Ibayon. I just read it Paul, from Dr. Brian Weiss's book. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dr. Brian Weiss, it's so good that you read. Many masters and many, many lives, many masters. Brian White, a psychiatrist who didn't believe in reincarnation, but then there was a patient of his that uh, he hypnotized and went into a lot of elaborate uh, uh, fast life uh, encounters with him. So Brian White is a very good uh, reference book for reincarnation. The La Sorino, Sir Jamie, regarding paranormal TV series, ghost hunting. One time I watched a ghost hunting TV series in the US. All of a sudden I felt heavy. So later on, turn, off, turn it off. That means you're too sensitive. Don't watch them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you're too sensitive. Ima Pasco, are you familiar with Twin Flame? Oh boy. Enroll in my Soulmates Karma and Reincarnation seminar online on March 20. We have that online. We will discuss all the things, twin flames, soulmates, um, karmic partners, etc. There's a lot of misconception about this subject of core karma and reincarnation and soulmates. And I will discuss this. And there is a regression portion where you will be guided into a meditation of your past life. So don't miss this seminar, online seminar on March 20. It will be from 2 to 5 p.m. Okay, so thank you so much for this. Thank you for watching. Please, you can follow me on uh, this uh, channel or my Facebook and my columns uh, inquire every Tuesday at the lifestyle section of Inquiry. This is Jimmy Lekauko signing off temporarily. <laughs>